YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We have another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about day nine of the Washington Commanders training camp. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. Or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media links down below in the description. And cop some Juan Gotti talking sports merch. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. Let's go. Uh, uh, down. Let's go. Uh, let's go. 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 When I hop in the booth, they fuck with my sound. With that shit on the skin, we taxing pound for pound. Nigga, keep this and put them in the ground. Get my shit in your ear, tell me how it sound. A nigga too smart can catch me out of bounds. Let's go. That bitch got cooked like some chicken. And he lying, he not rapping what he living. Bitch, my cousin, but this shit a business. Work that bitch out just like we doing fitness. So the boys are finally back on the practice field. Yesterday was a little bit of a recovery day as they were going at it for the first two days of pads. Ron Rivera decided to give them like a little relaxed walkthrough day. They were in a bubble. They were working a lot on special teams. The referees were there at practice yesterday. So there wasn't too much to report on yesterday. That's why you guys didn't get a training camp recap from yesterday. But they're back at it today on the field. So let's jump straight into the no shout out to Zach Selsby. As always for being our eyes and ears since we're not there at training camp okay so the first tweet that Zach Selsby says is Keith Ismail is at center with the, uh, with the starting offensive line Wes Schweitzer is at guard so there's two things that I could you know take away from that one is they're looking to see what he can do with the first team you know just in case he has to step in and two this could be just them giving him a shot because they want to just let you know Chase Roulier get some rest and not really you know force him back out there just yet although they are working him back in um, and he has been practicing with the with the first team and 11 on 11 they still want to you know take it slow and be gradual with um their approach when it comes to chase Rule because again he's coming back off of a gruesome injury um and that's what i think it is but again keith ismail can be some solid depth you know behind tyler larson um he then you have keith ismail so it's good to see him getting some reps at, with the ones and see how he does west Weicher going back to his natural position the guard position love me some west Weicher. so that's my take on the first note of the day um Zach Selsby's then say Brian Robinson breaks loose down the left sideline for uh, for a 15-yard gain. Get some applause from the crowd. Um, Brian Robinson is a guy that a lot of people are excited to see. I'm excited to see him, and um, I want to see how he pairs up with Antonio Gibson and J.D. McKissick. Now, a lot of people should really believe this guy is going to overtake Antonio Gibson. I don't see that being the case. It is good to see him have a really, really good uh, play right there and get applause from the crowd. So, moving on, Wentz scrambles to his right before running out of bounds with Montez Sweat chasing him, screaming at Wentz, get rid of it, get rid of it. So, Montez Sweat continue to be vocal as always, man. Again, he's a guy that I think is going to be in for a big, big year. Um, he even talked a lot about talked a lot about it at the podium, and you know he's not really a vocal guy, so it's just something feel a different feel with Montez Sweat this year, different swag he's coming with, and I love it. So shout out to Montez Sweat. Um, J.D. McKissick up the runs up the middle and is met immediately by Percy Butler who stands him up for no gain. So shout out to Percy Butler making plays. He's a guy that they already said that they expect him to play over half of the snaps when the season starts. So shout out to Percy Butler making uh, media impact. So 7-on-7s seven seven are happening right now. Um, and um, One end of the field, one-on-one -on -one pass rushers on the other end of the field. F.A. Obata just won his rep pretty easily uh, against, Aaron, uh, against Aaron Montreal. Rivera was talking yesterday about how much Obata has improved his technique over the past four years. So, F. Obata is a guy that you're going to throw in that defensive end room and he's going to be in that rotation. Um, and He may be a guy that we have to rely heavily on to start the season due to Chase Young being out for the start. And F. Obata is a guy that's no slouch. Yes, he's an international player, you know, so he took a very, very different route to get into the NFL but he's no slouch. He is, he can play at this level and he could be a good rotational piece to start the season and even when Chase Young comes back, he still could fit in to so, shout out to F.L. Bada getting it done down there. Um, Terry McLaurin just had a nice sideline grab from Wentz and Danny Johnson was defending. Uh, shout out to Terry. 
Same group as always, back catching punts, Dawson, Milne, McGowan, and Erickson. So it looks like my man Jared Patterson isn't in that discussion no more, which kind of makes me sad, man, because I was hoping he could possibly win that punt return uh, you know, job or kick return job. But I think it's going to be Dax Milne more likely than not, and maybe my man JP makes the route roster as the fourth running back. But we'll see. Kind of makes me sad again that he's not back there. But shout out to um, McGowan, Erickson, and da and Milne. Again, J Jahan Dawson is not going to be back there often. They're not going to put him back there unless we need a spark because he's just too important to this offense and what we need to do to be successful. So I don't see him winning that job either. Okay. Moving on, going through goal line drills now. Heineke delivers a strike to Robinson who takes it in for the score. Robinson Robinson has been caught a lot more passes than I thought he would. Looks good running routes. So, again, Brian Robinson, like I said in the beginning of the video, is a guy that is going to be interesting to watch. Like, I think they're going to complement each other well, although they're not going to be on the field much together, that being Antonio Gibson and Brian Robinson. But we, we, we shall see. Maybe there is going to be instances where they are on the field. But since I think they're kind of, like, I wouldn't say the same kind of back, but they can do the same kind of things. I don't see them being on the field much together. Um, moving on, you have uh, Wentz opens his series with the pass to Gibson, who takes it in for a touchdown. A lot of passes to the running backs today and the past two days. So that's interesting to see because you remember when we first traded for Carson Wentz, a lot of people were saying, oh, he doesn't pass to the running backs. Um, he's more of just down the field kind of pass, so he doesn't take the check down. And that's really, that looks like what he's been working on in training camp so far with Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson. So I'm excited to see him use all of his options, man. So moving on to the next week, Casey Tuhill just blew up a run from Gibson, ran from the opposite side of the play for a tackle for loss. So Casey Tuhill is a guy that, that has been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been a rotational piece for a while. Um, and this, again, may be the chance that he gets with Chase Young being on, on the pup to start the season. Um, so we'll keep an eye on Casey Tuhill. Uh, but again, it's great to hear these guys making plays in training camp. So Defense is really fired up for the session. Wentz had to throw it away. A pass looking for Amani Rodgers with Jamin Davis defending on the play. So believe it or not, man, maybe I'm tripping, but this is like one of the first few plays that I'm hearing from Jamin Davis actually being disruptive and making a play in the training camp so far. So shout out to Jamin Davis for finally making a play, man. Um, and hopefully this transitions into the season and we can finally see our 19th overall pick from the 20th. 2021 draft actually you know start to turn the corner and make progress moving on to the next tweet Casey Tuhill is having a really good period just grabbed a fumble and ran it into the opposite direction shout out to Casey Tuhill I wonder who forced it maybe that was a really nice touchdown from Cam Sims I say maybe because Sims chucked the ball on the air but the defense is saying he was out of bounds so I don't know. It's hard to see because uh, we obviously can't tell. But my man Cam Sims got some nice footwork. You know what I'm saying? Anytime he has catches along the sideline, you know, again, like last year, a couple of times, especially the one when it comes to Trayvon Diggs, they thought he was out. So he was in, really. So maybe Cam Sims was in, but we, we don't know. Um, and I believe that is the last tweet from Zach Selsby. Uh, let's see if there's any other tweets from any other guys like Kime or J.P. Finley before we get out of here today, man. So, J.P. Finley, let's see if he's tweeting anything about practice today. Um... He says, Heineke to Cole Turner for a decent little game. Turner goes down in a pile and seems to be twisted. There's knee a little bit, but gets up gingerly, getting stretched out now. Nothing serious, I don't think. So, whew, that, that makes me a little nervous, man, because Cole Turner is the guy that I love, man. My favorite draft pick from this past draft class, and I expect big things from him. We're already thin at the, at the tight end position as it is right now. So, hopefully everything is fine with him, and it doesn't seem like nothing is too serious, okay? So, Turner talked to trainers and seems to be wanting to come back to practice look like uh al bellamy overruled him and sent him back to the tent again doesn't look major but with no logan or no john bates with uh it will be interesting to see what goes on at fedex on saturday night so trey turner again is a guy that's been out of practice the past week or so or a couple days to a week um they're seeing an injury um but they don't want to rush it back and nor should they it's just training camp you know what i'm saying so we should be taking it slow 
Um, Antonio Gibson got his first curry of camp in live action. Looks solid. Curtis Samuel, De'Ami Brown on the side field at the wide receiver group goes through individuals. So, again, De'Ami Brown, I don't know what the injury is with him, but hopefully it's nothing too serious. Doesn't seem like it is. Curtis Samuel, as we know, as they already came on, said it's going to be uh, one day on, one day off, you know, kind of approach that they're going to be taking with Curtis Samuel. So, nothing too serious today. Little nicks and bruises here and there, but we shall be fine. And let's go. Saturday night is going to be the open practice at FedEx Field. Let me know down below in the description in the comment section if you're going. But yeah, man, there you have it. As always, me and Will Wangati. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell's to watch and Commanders. One of the 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media links down below in the description. And cops from Wangati talking sports. As always, me and Will Wangati. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell's to watch and Commanders. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop, get you pop, uh, uh.